My name is Arlene Nesbitt, and uh, I have created an exhibition here that uh, is in Collective Works Gallery in Fernwood. I'm a member of this uh, collective. For how long have you been a member of the collective? Uh, I started shortly after the, the collective began, so that's about a year and a half. And I was on the board for a while, and now I've done that uh, contribution. I'm a member at large. <laughs> uh, talking about your um, exhibition, the name, how do you choose the name for your exhibitions? Do you uh, work on your pieces first, have all the pieces that you think you're going to have, and then give a name, or you choose the name first, and then you will start working on your pieces? Well, uh, no, I've, I've had a kind of theme right from the beginning when I started to do artwork full-time about 10 years ago. I've been fascinated by the mind and the, the difference between the mind and the brain and things like that. So most of my themes have uh, been in and around that topic. And now this one um, comes out of the images they suggest to me ideas, and I do a lot of reading as well, both poetry, philosophy, science and religion, all of that, and it just kind of wells up and comes into being on its own. <laughs> Title of this show, and uh, it's the idea that perhaps there is a universal mind, and we have minds, and there's an interaction there that is very subtle and matter materializes out of that interaction. That's just a theme behind my show. Do you use always the same medium or changes from exhibition to the exhibition? Um, I have used different mediums, yes. Uh, I started originally as a painter many years ago and oils, acrylics and moved up through that. Then I went uh, deeply into photography photographing close-ups in nature that had archetypal images. And then uh, I learned Photoshop and began to mix uh, sensual mediums with photographs through, through the computer. And uh, so I do very freestyle work, both with encaustic, um, oh, rubbings, uh, painting, many different kinds of uh, freestyle work. And lately, this image, these images have been done with um, ink on mylar. And uh, that's very satisfying because it's uh, got a mind of its own <laughs> as well. <laughs> and images emerge out of there that, that look like uh, particulars, but also they combine together to make a unified whole. And uh, things are suggested to me out of that. Uh, so that's the medium I'm using now. But I combine it with photographs uh, because that brings my life experience into my sort of subconscious expression. And I like that combination. So um, color is very important to you when you are painting or, or creating a piece? I think color is probably number one of importance to me and even the lack of it so um, I have done black and white but that's very powerful and I use that only for certain things but color uh, to me expresses um, emotion perfectly and so it's, it's very important to me <laughs> texture would be the next thing uh, tonal values, yes, but textures also um, uh, kind of tickle you in a way or, uh, I don't know, get you involved in ways that color doesn't. So you have pieces that have textures sometimes? Yes, I, like when I do rubbings, of course, I'm, I'm rubbing over texture. I've done a lot of photographs of textured things such as rusted machines and rock. I've done a great deal of uh, photography of rock. Uh, 
Yeah, texture shows experience. That's what I like. Uh, another question is music. How important is music to you? Uh, is related to your paintings or do you relate music to the color, paintings, the texture, everything? I, I listen to music when I work, uh, especially like early music, Telemann, uh, things like that. Um, it puts me into a, a frame of mind that is kind of uh, meditative in a way. And, uh, and yet at the same time, the, um, the feeling of the notes and the dance of music and the, the experience of it, I feel it enters into my work. It certainly enters into me. I hope it comes out. <laughs> it seems to me that uh, the process on your pieces is a uh, very specific or interesting one. Can you... Tell us a little bit more about the process that you follow. Yes, yes. Um, well, when I do the, the first uh, free uh, expression on paper, um, and it could be like these, are uh, done on fax paper originally with uh, wood burning tools and irons and different hot metals. Uh, I can do it very small and, and rough and free. And then I scan that into the computer, make a file. And uh, then I scan my photographs that I've taken and I can make them transparent. I can change the scale and many different things that I can do there. And then I combine it all into one image, which I then print with my uh, printer. It has pigment ink and I use archival paper and I make editions of five. So those are original inkjet prints is what they're called. Do you have any uh, influences on your art from the beginning or uh, right now? Or? Yes, well, I can tell you that uh, when I was going to college in the 70s as, a, as an adult, um, I loved Georgia O'Keeffe. I can remember my professor saying, that's nobody important. You can't put. You can't do your essay on her. Uh, pick somebody else. <laughs> and it was only about five or six years later uh, that she died, and her work became very famous. But she was an influence on on my work. And uh, I lived in New Jersey, so I had a chance to go to um, New York often, and Philadelphia, and Washington, and. I saw people like Kandinsky, who was one of my all-time favorites. Uh, then I lived in Europe, so I had lots of good views of people like Chagall and uh, oh, Dali. Oh, I, ca I can't name them, all the people that have influenced me because I'm always looking either in galleries or uh, on the web and uh, looking at what's going on today as well because I think a lot of the uh, work of an artist is to try to express what is trying to happen. Maybe it hasn't even happened yet. Maybe not or we are aware of it yet. And I like to look at what other artists are doing and, and also uh, feel into the uh, social movements that are going on. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>